We are back with the voice of change now at 822. Is a gold standard medical test losing its luster? So Arama Tree can help diagnose problems like asthma, COPD, and many different types of lung disease. If you've never had one or even heard of it before, here's what it looks like. The doctor will ask you to take in a big breath and blow as hard and as long as you can into this machine. That machine measures how much air you can blow out from your lungs and also how fast you can blow it out. Now, the earlier one of these tests is done, the earlier lung diseases can be detected and treated. But a Northwestern study found the test may be missing serious illnesses in black people. Why? Well, because the test takes into account a person's race. But Dr. Lou, Gabriel Lou with Northwestern Medicine says it's all based on an old mistaken belief that black people have smaller lungs. Their readings appear normal, but then when a CT scan is performed, it shows they actually have emphysema, a lung condition that causes shortness of breath. The findings of our study suggest that, you know, rather than just normalizing sort of inherent um, differences in lung capacity between people of different races, that this really might be normalizing worse lung health in black adults compared to white adults. So what now? What changes need to be made? Well, first, the doctor says just being aware this common test is interpreted differently for people of different races because a lot of people aren't even aware of that. Even some physicians, it's cliche, but in this case, knowledge really is power. The more you know, the better you can advocate for yourself when you see your doctor. It's important for physicians to sort of know the findings of our study and to consider that, you know, when they encounter a patient who has respiratory symptoms like shortness of breath, who have a cough, that even if they see that this person has normal lung function based on spirometry, they're still having these symptoms, you know, consider getting a CT scan to look for, you know, visual evidence of lung disease like emphysema. And if they do find emphysema, again, really talk to their patients about what could be going on in their environment that could be contributing. Um, and so talk about these risk factors and consider, you know, whether or not this patient might benefit from medications for COPD, like inhalers, um, that really might prove to be beneficial for them. So yes, I get it. You may have even more questions after hearing all of this, but that's the point. The big takeaway here is knowing you need to take those questions to the person you trust with your health. You can read much more about the study on my Facebook page, T Lee TV. I'll be posting uh, this story there and, and all the details about the test and all the findings that the Northwestern scientists found. That's yeah. crazy. I'm surprised at how many outdated tests are mm -hmm. still used mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. as the gold standard. Yeah. Absolutely. This is just one example. So many yeah. outdated measurements too, like yeah. BMI. I was going to say, yes. that's what immediately came to yes. my mind was the BMI, mm -hmm. which is totally inaccurate, especially mm -hmm. for African Americans. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, it, you know, you got to take some certain things with a grain of salt and definitely do the research to the research before you go in or after you go in you might yeah. need a second she opinion. Was telling me there's even more uh, tests, different tests for different yeah. body yes, parts uh, that are different for Asian Americans and yeah. Latino Americans too. So I think I'm going to be expanding more yeah, on some of those idea. different tests yeah. as well because yeah. we, we need to know. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. need to know and this brings us all back to something I always say and you have to be your own patient advocate. Absolutely. Right? We, we That's don't the take biggie. that seriously. That is yeah. the biggie. Yeah, that yeah. was great. Very interesting. Thanks, Terry. All right.